And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Toronto Blue Jays taking on the Tampa Bay Rays. First pitch coming your way next. Tampa Bay Rays. Just about set to go. And our pitcher tonight, Drew Rasmussen. Well, that 12 to 6 curveball explodes out of the hand. And because he's able to throw the high fastball at the top of the strike zone for a strike, hitters commit to that pitch. And before they know it, they're swinging over the top of that curveball. And now, George Springer, the 1 1. That's the ball. That's a strike. Swing and a ball lifted left field. A Rosarena moving under it. And out number one on the grab. Bo Bichette up to the dish. 2 1 now. And it's fouled away. No score just getting started. Top of the first. In the air, left field, and there are two outs. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. Left field, way back there. Up against the wall, and brings it in. Jays go down in order, and now the Rays will get their first opportunity in a scoreless ballgame. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Well, this is a guy that usually turns in a very good outing. People like playing behind him. Everyone seems to be loose, and the offense tends to get going. So, you know, you look at an opposing lineup. When they see him out there in the mound, they know that he's going to compete. They don't want to let him settle in. They want to try to knock him out, get into that bullpen before he gets real comfortable. Racing makes the catch. One down. Batting second. Now batting Wander Franco. Righty delivers. In the air, right field, and that is Springer. Two down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Third. Now it's no Randy or Rosarena. Randy. Oh, right now. Singy Alec Benoa's turned into one of the better starters in the American League. Blue Jays drafted him out of West Virginia. He was the 11th overall pick in the 2019 draft. Yeah, and just a year later, a big league all-star. So, developed pretty quickly and a front. Ah, that yeah. ends the inning, so we take a break. Out in order, go the Rays. We played an inning, no score. Back here at Tropicana Field, second inning set to go. Now it's going to be Alejandro Kirk. Right into the plate. Just misses. And the count's even at two. And that one missing low. And a pitch. The other way. Margot makes the catch. One away. The left field and now it's 25. Dalton Varsho. Here's a 1-1. One -one. Swing and a miss, and one that's two strike count. two. No score here in the second. Out towards right center. That's well struck. Back there. And gone. He'll circle the bases, and the Blue Jays have the lead now. It's 1-0. There was a cutter away. Kind of works like a slider. You've got to stay on it, let it travel a little bit, and then get your arms extended. Really good piece of hitting right there. Here's Matt Chapman. Next pitch is downstairs. Right side. Over to first. Got him. Fastball groove right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air. Maybe drive it into the gap. Strike two. One, two. And that's just no, foul. That's foul ball. And that's a foul ball. Foul 
Fights that one away, still one and two. The pitch. Swings and crushes one. Right field, way back, and gone. Brandon Belt goes deep, and they add on. It's 2-0. A breaking ball on the inside part of the plate requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Back-to-back -back base hits. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Good job. Bottom of the inning. Lau at the plate. The pitch. That one to first. It's through for a hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Smash that one through the infield for the knock. When it's hit that hard, it makes it very tough on the infielders to make any sort of play. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Check swing on the 2-2. Appeal to first. And he went around according to Clyde Washington. Next pitch has popped up. Kirk puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one away. Batting six. Manuel Margo up to the plate. Margo. Here's a 1 1. That's a ball. And now two and two. Two and two. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Isaac Paredes now. And fouled off. The one two. Cut on and missed. Struck him out. And the inning is over. One left for Tampa. Back here at the ballpark. Here's George Springer. The one one. Out to short. Over to Diaz. And one away in the top of the third. Now, Bobichet hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. Out of here. Bobichet blasts one out, and they add to the lead. It's 3-0. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Margot settles under it. He's got it, and there's two away. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter, and a tough one at that. Rips that one center field, and base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Dalton Varsho digs in now. He's already homered in this one. Next offering is in for a strike. Got him. Down on strikes, and he knew it. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now 3 As we go to the last of the third, here's the speedy catcher, Christian Bethencourt. Kicks and deals. Check swing, one went around, strike. that's strike two. The pitch. And down on strikes he goes. Leadoff man retired here in the third. And now it's Jose Siri.
In the air out towards right center. And George makes the grab. Now batting. Back to the top of the lineup. Yandy Diaz will hit next. Flight out to center in his first at bat. And the right hander deals. And a base hit up the middle. So that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. That one in for a strike, two and two. Two, two. Two outs. Swing and a ball popped up. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. The Rays strand just the one. They trail in this one, three nothing. New inning getting started, and here is Matt Chapman. Next offering is fouled back. Well, these Jays doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. And here's a stat for you, Boog. They're making contact no, with more than 85% of the pitches that they're swinging at. It's pretty special stuff. Not so good if you're out there on the mound. Gets a piece and stays alive. Here's a 2-2. Next offering is outside. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And that's the first out. Up to the plate, it's Brandon Belt. The solo homer his first time. That one ripped. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's now two down. Not that's fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it. But sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. One and two. You're looking for one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. Swung on. Belted. That one back there. And out of here. He powers that one out to left. And they add a run. It's 4 nothing. He's so good at getting his arms extended. And that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch. part of the plate but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over stays through the ball gets the lock and gets the home run here's Kiermaier now and the pitch ground ball left side and it gets by him the batter the right fielder Back George. to the leadoff spot in the Blue Jays lineup. Now here's the leadoff man for the Blue Jays, George Springer. Lots of pop at the plate. Outfield playing back almost on the warning track. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Toronto picks up one on this homer. It's now a 4-0 ball game. And welcome back. Ready to go. Bottom four. Here's the left fielder, Randy Arozarena. That's ripped. Base hit. And now it's Brandon Lau. The pitch. Check swing. Tried to hold up. Now it appealed to third. And Woody Keller right on it. Says he held up. And that one hammered. That's back there. And that is gone. Brandon Lau bops one out of here. And they're chipping away. It's 4-2. They needed that one, Singy. Indeed they did. They've been fighting to get back into this game. And just like that, they're back in it. Harold Ramirez at the nope. dish. 
Next offering is downstairs. It can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. Next offering is fouled back. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. That's back. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. A shot to left, and they close the gap. It's 4-3. Back-to-back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it, and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. Here's Manuel Margot. Line drive, takes it in for the out. Now the third baseman, Isaac Paredes, struck out swinging his first time. One down, base is empty. That's hard hit on the line. Dives, but it falls. And now it looks like extra bases. And the tying runs at second base with a double. All over that one right there. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And one and two. Paredes over at second, one down. Hard liner. And gone! That's what the fans came to see. And they jump out front. It's 5-4. Chris, that ball came out hot. So let's see what StatCast has to say. Yeah, it really did, Boog. 111 miles per hour off the bat. And a really nice launch angle as well. Just a beautiful swing from start to finish. And he takes it himself the for the out. Number two. Yandy. So the Rays batting Diaz. order turns over. Yandy Diaz next to hit for the Rays. Here's a 1-1. On the ground, right side. Slings to first, and that'll do it. Had the long ball working three times for a total of five runs. Welcome back. Top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Bo Bichette. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. And that one is gone! His second home run of the game, and we have a tie ball game. It's 5-5. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. And the batter now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. So now one and two. Well, these Blue Jays, simply put, are producing a... Swing and a miss, struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. So now it's the four hole now hitter, Alejandro, Alejandro Kirk. Alejandro. Good contact guy, good defender. Not even no close one. there. Two and one. The pitch. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Got him looking. He's got to be frustrated with that call. Two outs, base is empty. Stepping in, Dalton Varsho. He's already homered in this game. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Makes the play, and it's out number three. But a run scores in the inning as this solo home run ties things up. All even at five apiece. It's Major League Baseball. Back now in Tampa Bay. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now the number two hitter, Wander Franco. One one now. Popped up first base side. Guerrero settles under it and makes the catch. And a quick out number one. That was a now good, back. hard Left fastball field. with some nice Randy. ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. Swing at a ball popped up. And it's just oh. foul.
flails at that one. It's a strikeout. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. He's got it. And that is out number three. Ray's held in check here. This ball. Back here at Tropicana Field, top of the sixth the inning. And here is. Matt. Chapman. Colin Poche gets the call from the pen. He's got a wicked breaking ball in his arsenal, and it's definitely one of his go-to pitches when he needs an out. And Poche ready to work. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And a pitch. Smash to the left side. Whips it to first. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Brandon Bell next up for the Blue Jays. And the 3 1. And that's in for a strike. And boy, that was the pitch. 3 1. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. There's a swing and a drive. Way back there. And it hits the top of the wall. And that's a double. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. In plenty of time to first. Awesome play there. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. On the ground to first. Takes it himself, and that is that. Well, we go bottom six. Now here is Harold Ramirez. The designated hitter, Harold Ramirez. Right-hander kicks deals. Check swing, but he went too far. And a count one and two. The punch out there. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Now up for Tampa Bay, Manuel Margot. That one the other way. And foul ball. Bounce to the right side. Merrifield handles the chance. Sends it to first. Two up, two down. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. So digging in, Isaac Paredes. Strike two. Man, he's close as he's trying to get through six full innings right now. He's about to throw his 100th pitch. I'd be surprised if this isn't it for him. The other way. He dives, but can't hang on. That's a base hit. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. Mitch White into the game. And here's the catcher, Christian Bethencourt. And a pitch. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. And that gets down for a base hit. So that's two straight, two out hits. So up next, Jose Siri. Swings and misses. It's a ball and two strikes. That smacked on a line to center. Kiermaier pulls that one down, and that is the third out of the inning. So the Rays strand a pair. Top of inning number seven, and now for the Jays, George Springer. Going to count one and two. One and two. And a foul ball, he stays alive.
swing and a miss struck him out. Well, take a look at the three pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting them away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0 2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. Foul ball still a one and two count. And a ball evens the count. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. There's a line drive to left field. Siri racing over to make the catch. Good piece of hitting right there. Nice hard line drive to the outfield. You're trying to get on base, represent that go-ahead run. Can't hang your head on that at all. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Set for the last half of the seventh. Yandy Diaz now. The first baseman, Yandy Diaz. The 1 1. Line drive, and it goes just foul. Well, these Rays, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. Eight of their hits came off the bat at 90 miles per hour or harder. These guys are not getting fooled right now. On the ground. Guerrero the toss to first and one away in the bottom of the seventh. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out front, rolled over on it. Exactly what he was supposed to do. And he deals. Swing and that's ripped towards right center. And it's into the gap. Now he turns and heads for second. And he's into second base with one away as the go-ahead run. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so a great job there stepping up to the challenge. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely. Springer there makes the catch. The batter, number eight, second baseman. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Brandon Lau. And that one lifted in the air center field. Kiermaier moving under it. Squeezes it. And that is that. Well, this guy competes hard. We go to the eighth. Leading, leading off, Alejandro Kirk. <laughs> Pete Fairbanks taking over on the mound. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. And he won around just enough that time. And now it's even up. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. Siri makes the play, and there's one down. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. One, two. Left field. That's back. Turning and looking, and it's gone. A shot to the opposite field. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And that gives him a lead. It's 6-5. That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball, and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark. You want to bottle that type of approach. Matt Chapman up to the plate now. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Digging in, Brandon Bell. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. Ninety nine miles per hour to finish him off. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run and the home team down to run. They go with one of their more experienced arms in this spot. Jimmy Garcia. These are the spots relievers really Your make a name please. for themselves late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Movement in the bullpen. Jordan Romano, the closer, is getting loose. The tying run at the plate. Hit in the air, right field. And George makes the grab. 
Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. In the air, right field. And that drops foul. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. One, two to Margot. Hit on the ground to the right side. And it's through for a hit. And that puts the tying run on base. So Margot is aboard. Well, that at bat had a lot of pressure riding on it. So really great job coming through right there. It's got to feel good. It's amazing to me that he was able to put the barrel on that one. I mean, that pitch was pretty well outside, but great extension and bat control through the zone allowed him to drive it the other way. That was pretty impressive. Springer there makes the catch. The catcher number four. And now the catcher comes up to him. Christian Bethencourt. Known for his rocket arm behind the plate. Next offering misses, and it's two and one. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around to score and tie this ball game up. And a base hit on the line. Kiermaier hurries it back in. Lead runner hangs on it second as the potential tying run moves into scoring position. Jose Siri next to hit for the Rays. Line drive, that's a base hit. Here comes the runner. Now a long throw home. And he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. Well, I can understand why they tried to force the issue and tie up this ball game, but wow, nicely done from the defense there to cut him down at the plate and preserve the lead. That's a big-time play. Welcome back. We go to the ninth. Now it's the second baseman, Whit Merrifield. And a swing and a miss. And there's one down. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Next offering is in for a strike. Triple digits on that last pitch. Well, when you commit to throwing an inside fastball to your glove side across the strike zone, especially with two strikes, if you're going to miss, you want to miss off the plate in. You do not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate. So that was excellent execution on that pitch. Really tied him up, and he couldn't get a piece at all. I'm sure that feels pretty good after going hitless in this one so far. Good job getting the foot down so he could catch it out front and pull it. Turn on it nicely for the knob. On to Franco. That ends the frame. So no runs here in a base hit. Jordan Romano will take over here. He has a great slider with tons of movement. And stepping in for the Rays, Yandy Diaz. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. Swing and a bouncer. Fires over to Guerrero. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Here's Wanda Franco. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. Right-handed reliever. And there's a foul ball. The one-two. Line drive, base hit. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. That one lifted to left. Varsho going back, racing back some more. Still going back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot, turned around, and made a nice catch. And a big swing and a miss. Right now, they're looking for something hit hard into the gaps. Give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. 
up the middle and there it is pressure packed in this final inning time run on base great running and diving catch to rob the base hit and also prevent that run from scoring what a great job a lot of excitement in that